We're at Paladin Stadium in Greenville, South Carolina. Today, a Southern Conference showdown, the Sanford Bulldogs and the Furman Paladins. We've arrived at the stretch run of the SOCON. Western Carolina and Chattanooga set the pace. The winner today can stay in the hunt for the championship trophy. Hi, everybody, along with Will Merritt, Pete Hannity with you. And today, a battle between two teams, Will, that frankly have been in a rough patch, but an opportunity to go in the right direction. Well, let's not forget that Furman was in this exact same scenario just a year ago, and then they made their run all the way to the SOCON championship. And Sanford, a team with experience, thinking they can do the same thing. We're going to see two of the better running backs in the Southern Conference today. Denzel Williams is a sophomore for the Bulldogs. Back in the spring, they converted him from defensive back. And he is just a game-changing type running back. Obviously, this year, he has done a tremendous job, fourth in the league in rushing currently. And he leads the league in scoring. He's got 10 touchdowns. That's Hank McLeod, the senior for Furman. He ran for 1,000 a year ago, and he's back on track after a slow start because of some injuries. Well, last week, we saw his true talent, 60-yard scamper against the South Carolina Gamecocks for a touchdown. If Furman wants to win this ballgame, Pete, they will have to give it to him early and often. What a beautiful day we have for football here in the upstate of South Carolina. It's homecoming on the Furman campus when we come back. The kickoff, the Sanford Bulldogs, the Furman Paladins, that's coming up. Defense very stout. Of course, Furman's going to be playing with a couple of freshmen up front. Oh, and the punt is blocked. John Croft Hollingworth has it knocked down. It'll be picked up and returned by the Bulldogs for a touchdown and taking it into the end zone, Jay Galloway. And Sanford, just like that, uses a big play on special teams and takes the early lead. Quarterback, Furman defense will have their hands full all day long. Play action, first and 10 from his own 38, looking long near sideline, and it's going to be caught by Carell Hamilton. He's got room to the 10, the 5, and... Let's see, he's in, touchdown. Lightning strikes again on a sunny day in Greenville for the Samford Bulldogs after the blocked punt return for a TD. That's a 62-yard connection. Eubank to Hamilton, and just like that, a two-touchdown lead for the Bulldogs, and we're only about four minutes into this contest. What a beautifully thrown ball by Eubank. Carl Trimble in the 90s, Lewis Ivory right around the turn of the century, and a couple of years ago, Gerodis Williams, a physical back who was a 1,000-yard rusher. Here's Blaze Jowski, second down, throwing, intercepted off the deflection, and it's pulled down by Jamerson Blunt for the Bulldogs, his second interception of the year as a team. That's their seventh, and once again, Samford forcing a Furman mistake, and will have the ball in fine field position. Will, looks like it was almost corralled that time by Kevin Maul, but he just couldn't pull it in I don't of the ball game. First and goal at the 10. Williams, 10 touchdowns on the year and make it 11 as he finds the hole and tiptoes into the end zone. And Denzel Williams with that 11th touchdown of the season. And the Sanford Bulldogs have come in here and built a huge lead early on. To Sanford, one of his female cousins played basketball for the Lady Bulldogs. So this is one that probably gets talked about in the family. Johns with a chance to throw it, and the wide receiver will, and a man wide open, far side of the field, and another Samford touchdown. Crondis Larry out of the backfield, the old wheel play off the wide receiver pass, and how do you like that? Pat Sullivan's reached deep into the playbook. Today, red zone offense for Samford, among the better teams in the league. Snap back to the running back. Johns again, his second attempt of the day and his second touchdown toss of the day. And another score for Samford as Eubank, the quarterback, gets in on the act. And he's got uh, throwing touchdowns today and he's got a receiving touchdown now in the ball game. It well, went back to Gates and then Johns. And how about that? Johns having himself some kind of ball game, two out of two, both for touchdowns. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's a very well-designed play. You, you're a little bit surprised.